there. Thanks for joining us. How good does this tea candle look? Well, it's the subject of today's lesson and it wasn't really that hard to make. So I'm going to show you the steps I took to make it. But before I do get into it, if you're not there now, then come over to our webpage at www.montmart.net where we've got lots more lessons as well as our Facebook attached to that and our creative connection. And if you subscribe to that, then you get lots of free stuff sent to you as well as other goodies. So let's get into it and make an owl tea lamp. First step is to cut out the owl template. I'm using the backing from a sketch pad, in this case an A3 black paper sketch pad, which we'll be using later. So print out two of the owl images in the PDF, and using the hobby knife I cut out the owl on one. Here is where I give you a pointy thing warning. If you are not yet an adult, then you will need to get one for this stage. And if you are an adult, remember the golden rule, always cut away from your person. Knives are indiscriminate about who they cut. Next, take out a sheet of black paper and lay the negative over that paper and draw in the negative profile line with pencil. I know what you're thinking, but even though it's black, you can still see a shimmering mark to profile cut to. Lay this sheet onto the card backing and then cut out the negative. Again, use caution. Remove this paper and take special care to create those little acute feathers. Once you have profile cut the paper, Remove the negatives, place the finished negatives aside and take the second printout. Lay over a sheet of Montmartre tracing paper over the top of it and with a black Montmartre fine tip marker trace the owl. This is self explanatory but make sure you work from the top down. You also might like to draw up your own owl. Whatever you do, the thing to keep in mind is patterning. This recurring patterning is what interests the viewer. It's kind of like those old dipper pen illustrations. I have done this project substituting normal copy paper instead of tracing paper as well and it looked great. Now we can assemble the lamp. So take the jar and tightly wrap the black cutout around it. Tape the two sides together to create a sleeve. Stand the jar up on its end and trip the black sleeve to size with some scissors. Once you have trimmed this, remove the black sleeve and wrap the drawing page over the black sleeve ensuring the negative window aligns with the drawing. Then secure it with some tape. Trim the tracing paper up to the black sleeve with scissors. Well the owl sleeve is cut out and drawn up, ready to slide onto our jar. But I'm going to paint the jar with some glass paint. So the light emits through and we get some nice colours behind our owl. So let's get this glass paint on. The glass paint contains 12 4mm tubes and even has a little palette attached. So first I apply some red, then some yellow, blue and green. This way I can change the colour of my light. So let's light our candle and see how it looks. For this stage I have to give you another safety warning. If you are not yet an adult then you will need to get one to help you do this. Once the candle has been dropped into the jar, place it inside the sleeve and voila! See, I told you it was going to be a bit of fun. Don't forget to join our Creative Connection if you haven't already and I'm going to turn out the lights and see how this looks.